So let's talk about how do I get a grant? My name is Dan Kimball. I'm a product specialist here at Apple Software. You know, I've been doing fundraising for a long time and I was thinking about the first time I actually wrote a grant. It was a long time ago and I was kind of early in my fundraising career. And back in those days, you actually had to submit binders uh, and make photocopies of grant submissions and it was a lot of work. Um, we'll fast forward a number of years. The great thing about grants is that they're pretty accessible and most of the online applications now are, um, are all online, literally online. And so there's a lot less work. Um, but that being said, we want to kind of get into a little bit. What are some things you want to be looking for in writing, writing for that grant? Um, one thing that nonprofits sometimes make a mistake in doing is that they just think it's free money just kind of out there. But you actually have to work a little bit for those grants. I mean, the, the most important thing, I think more than anything, is making sure that your mission aligns with the funder and what they're trying to accomplish. In other words, if you're, a, if you're an agency that works with, say, homeless people, um, or you're a food distribution center, and there's an education grant out there, you don't want to change your mission just to kind of what we call follow the money. So really, the, at, the, at the very core, you want to look at what that funder is, is trying to accomplish in their goals and you as a nonprofit and if they align, if it's a good match. And then after that, it's really just making sure you're reading through the requirements uh, because grants can be very technical. They can be very simple. Uh, some uh, corporate grants are just a simple online application where you fill in maybe your tax ID number, uh, your board members, uh, your budget, things like that. A technical grant can be, you know, pages and pages of, of very specific uh, goals and objectives and, and who's going to do what as part of that grant. So it's really important that you assess, you read through, and you really um, learn what is all involved. You don't just kind of jump uh, right to that. Before you get married, will you, you court or you date? Uh, well, it's the same thing with a foundation or a funder. You want to get to know them. So, it's, so in a lot of cases, it's appropriate for you to call and say, hey, I'm, I'm a nonprofit here in, you know, in middle in Texas, and um, I'm, I'd like to get to know you a little bit. How, how would I go about doing that? The smaller foundations may say, well, you know, we don't take unsolicited proposals. That's okay, but the idea is that you're getting to know um, that relationship and you're building a relationship just like you would with a, a donor. Um, you want to build a relationship with those funders. Um, and a lot of people don't think, especially the big government grants, oh, I could never call them. Well, you can actually, you can, because the people behind there, they're people too. Um, so you're kind of, in a sense, you're, you're kind of dating, getting to know uh, that relationship and seeing if there's a, a good match there. I think you know one thing that a lot of organizations at the at the very core have to ask is should I or should I not go after a grant? I mean we've talked about some technical things about how to go about doing it, and I, I think it's important that you know before you you know even begin to write your first grant, just you know evaluate that. Does that fit into your into your annual plan? How much money <clears throat> are we talking about that you're in a sense trying trying to raise? Again, there's a lot of um, um, organizations that have success with grants, um, but um, at the same time, I think you as a, a leader, a director, a fundraiser, anybody who's watching, a board member, if you're watching this video, just ask yourself, you know, is this good for our organization? When talking about the question or addressing the question, how do I get a grant? Uh, it's much like, how do you get donors? Um, it, it's, it's creating a prospect list. Um, so do some research. Uh, that's going to be involved in terms of, of who, who's in your area, in your community, or nationally or regionally, who is distributing grants, who's funding programs that are like yours. So start to begin by um, um, creating that prospect list, people that you um, want to know, get to know. Oh, and then the other thing is, is talk to your board members and volunteers. Uh, many times you'll find that um, those volunteers might know of somebody or they themselves might sit on a board um, of a foundation or a bank or somebody that's a part of that process. As a fundraiser, one of the things that I, it kind of became a joke, but it would often have a, a board member or a volunteer say, hey, why don't we apply for money from the Gates Foundation? And I would joke back and say, the Gates, do they have a foundation? No kidding, I should look into that. And it was kind of my way of saying or, or encouraging people that 
um, you, you know, they're, um, it's very competitive. Um, and and I, I think more than anything is that, you know, it's not like these large grants are just, you know, giving money away left and right. I mean, they, they have a process in place. And even some of them are even trying to get uh, um, improve their own practices to be a little more accessible. So I think that if I can encourage you, it's, it's don't, you know, don't not do grants, but also uh, make sure you're, you're being realistic about your expectations. So we gave you a lot to think about and to consider when you think about, well, how do I go about getting a grant? So in our next video, we're going to actually talk about how do I actually write that grant?